All right, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I know it's not the popular thing. I know it's not what everybody thinks, and it's not what the masses out there say, but I think it's the truth. Dark Knight Rises is a better movie than The Dark Knight. There, I said it. Now, I know that's it's not the popular belief, and it's not the the popular uh, opinion as far as critics and, and, and fans go and, and things like that, but... I think it is. I didn't get caught up in the whole... Uh, I know it got ultra praise, and I think it, it, it took top for like Rotten Tomatoes and things like that. Not to say that Rotten Tomatoes is, is the be-all, end-all judge, but um, I just don't feel that Dark Knight is a better movie. And I'm going to give you some of my reasons why. And I'm going to list the pros and cons for both movies. I'm going to start with the pros for Dark Knight. One, it's got Joker. The iconic character. He he's probably the one of the greatest villains in in comic book history. He's legendary. Two, the opening scene at the bank. That is just an awesome scene. Uh, unraveling, no pun intended, of the henchman who robbed the bank and everybody trying to figure everybody out. And and the next guy has to kill the next guy and so on and so forth until the the Joker reveals himself. That scene three, the Joker scenes are intense. Heath Ledger is probably the most intense Joker that has probably ever portrayed that character. They are just, uh, they're dark. Where he comes from with that role it, it is very dark and mysterious, and there's really no origin for him. He's just a man who, who wants to create chaos, and we really never find out about, you know, his motive or what makes him tick. Next thing, Heath Ledger nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Do I think he's the best Joker ever? No. I'm a Jack Nicholson guy. To me, Jack Nicholson was the prototype Joker. That that's that's how I imagine Joker. He, the way he portrayed him as a uh, kind of a joking, sadistic. You know, he'll kill you, but he's very. He laughs a lot. He's very engaging. That's how I like the Joker. I prefer the Nicholson Joker over the Ledger Joker, and I know a lot of people don't feel that way. Four, the Hong Kong scene with Bruce Wayne and Lucius, where Lucius goes into a meeting with Lau, and he plants a, a tracker and radar phone and gives his phone to Bruce Wayne so that he can find the layout of the building and where Lau is so they can bring him back to Gotham. Five, I liked the ending of the movie, Batman preserving Harvey Dent's good name and covering up the things he did and kind of taking the fall for it and essentially going into hiding. And the cons for that movie, it feels like it drags on. It's it's very slow. And not that I don't like slow movies, but that movie felt like it was three and a half hours. Two, the boat scene. I absolutely hated the boat scene. The whole back and forth thing with the convicts and the, the regular people of Gotham. Are they going to blow up our boat? Are we going to blow up their boat? The whole moral conflict. I get it. I just didn't like it. There was too much time spent on that. That could have been used in other places or just cut out. The story, um, it was okay. I, I, I didn't love the story. Not my favorite. Another thing I didn't like, I didn't like Rachel. I didn't like who played her. I thought the original Rachel was, was good. I prefer her better. I'm not a, a huge Maggie Gyllenhaal fan in general. So to me, I don't think it was an upgrade for Rachel. Another thing, the whole rivalry with Harvey Dent and, and Bruce Wayne, it just, I wasn't feeling it. I'm not a huge Aaron Eckert fan. He did a, he did a pretty good Two-Face. I wasn't in love with it. It was good, but, you know, it was, I'm not a huge Two-Face fan to begin with. And to me, overall, just the movie feels very long, and I don't enjoy it as much. I can't watch it over and over again like, like I can... Dark Knight Rises. I don't buy into the the whole um, Heath Ledger was the greatest Joker and, and the greatest role ever. I don't buy into that. Do I think it was influenced a little because because of his passing? Yeah, I do. I don't know if people would have thought of that performance in such high regards if things would have happened differently with him and him not passing. If that makes sense. I, I think, you know, it, 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 absolutely unfortunate and it's terrible, you know, what, what happened with him. But I do feel that that 
had an impact on people's view of it and the movie. Did he portray a great role? Yeah, he did. But it wasn't legendary, in my opinion. It was great, no doubt about it. But I just didn't feel that it was as high up as people make it out to be. And I know I'm going to get a lot of flack on that. All right, let's move on to Dark Knight Rises. So for the pros of this movie, one, the opening scene. Personally, I think it topped Dark Knight, the whole scene with the plane and and Bane and Dr. Pavlov. Two, I loved how Bruce Wayne and Batman was older, broken down, showed the battle scars and the fact that he wasn't able to do the things that he did before because of, of the beatings that he took. That was very cool to have him in at, in a state like that to where, you know, they, they show the, the results of, of what he's been doing. Three, the benefit scene. He's now kind of like a, a mythical hermit that nobody's seen or heard from in quite some time. Four, Catwoman. I think Anne Hathaway played that role perfect. And I think she outdid Michelle Pfeiffer. Five, freaking Bane. Bane, Bane, Bane. Finally, we get a good, true Bane. Not like the crap that we got in the Joel Schumacher debacle of Batman and Robin when Bane was just a just a mindless drone, basically. That, that was just an abomination of a film. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. But finally, they got it right with Bane. It showed that, that he's smart, he's strong, They made him how he should be portrayed. Tom Hardy knocked it out of the park. Six, I love that Batman becomes an average citizen and he is broke. And he lost everything. He lost his money. He gets his car towed away. Uh, I thought that scene was comical. And, And the fact that here's a man who had everything and he has nothing now. Number seven. The impending feel of doom in this the story. I loved how they have them storming Blackgate Prison and breaking everybody out, turning it into total chaos, and the prisoners take the city, and Bane kind of overseeing all this chaos and the the city. Everybody's essentially on lockdown, and even the police and everybody, they are not able to do anything because they are they are out outnumbered by by the criminals. And I loved the the scenes where it was in the snow and they had the tanks going through the city. Eight, uh, the the fight scene between Batman and Bane. A plus, loved it. Batman gets his back broken. I liked how they brought that into the story and they used that. A man who was broken emotionally, financially, and now physically. And I love how, how they have Batman in the prison. And he's not even able to stand up. Nine. Crane is back. The judge. The people of Gotham. And he decides their fate. I thought it was awesome that they brought him back. Because he was a character that I really feel they they underused in, in the very first one. Ten. I loved the feel of, of the city in the background. With all the bridges and the skyline. And the fact that they did it in Pittsburgh, which is a really cool place. In the whole stadium scene, and and it's a football game, and it just starts imploding. I thought that scene was super cool. Eleven, the whole conflict between Alfred and Bruce Wayne. Alfred pretty much tells him off, and is done with him because he doesn't approve of what he's doing now, and he's willing to end their friendship and walk away if it means potentially saving his life. It was heartbreaking in that scene, and Michael Caine just was so great in it, telling him, you need to know when to say when. The whole, I've buried enough uh, Waynes, and and the struggle and conflict with Bruce Wayne and Batman, and trying to get them to let go and move on, because usually Alfred's on his side, backing him with everything he does, but he's smart enough to know You got to let it go. 12, the ending reveal. Loved it, loved it. I love the fact that they they revealed that Miranda Tate was Talia al Ghul. The whole scene with Batman flying the the bomb 
you know, way far out of Gotham's range and, and having it blow up and essentially him dying to save the people of Gotham, ending his reign as Batman and Bruce Wayne. And then we later find out he survives and he's moved on and he's now got a life with um, Selena Kyle and she's moved on also. And they have the scene where they're at the cafe and, and, and he sees Alfred. And he gives him that little nod. And I know a lot of people think it was corny and cheesy, but I, I love that. I love the fact that they had that as an ending because I thought they had gone everywhere they could with the story. I loved how Christopher Nolan ended the trilogy. I thought it was perfect. And then we get the whole uh, Robin reveal, which I thought was very cool. Um, now, they didn't end up going anywhere with that, but the cons, I really don't have very many. One, it didn't have the Joker. Two, it was a very long movie. For people that didn't enjoy it as much, it was probably a, a long sit-through. But for me, it's not a movie that I feel like is that long. I mean, it's over two and a half hours, and to me, it doesn't feel that way. Other than that, I, I don't have any other issues with that movie that I can think of. But with that being said, thanks for checking out the video. If you, you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments in the comments section. I'm curious to, to get some feedback on um, my personal take on, on this and how I feel The Dark Knight Rises is truly a better film than The Dark Knight, and hopefully it helps some people kind of think about it again and go, you know what, yeah, it was a really good film. Maybe maybe I did like it more than I thought. And, and if not, you know, that's cool too, but um, we are going to sign out. Thank you, and have a good day.